Archbishop of York arriving at the Civil Defence School Easing World was greeted by the Commandant. His Grace was giving the support of the Church to this possibly vital work. Easing World has some wartime flying bombs, reminding older people of dangerous months 20 years ago. The danger in a nuclear war would be a million times worse. But don't despair. Seal windows against blast and radiation and make a fallout room using hard-packed earth against outside walls. That is one of the things taught at the school. The Archbishop was told that 1,800 students took a course in 1960, nearly 2,500 in 62. Another thing, don't forget to stock the fallout shelter with plenty of food. Now His Grace went to see some homes supposedly wrecked by bombing. This kind of damage is a challenge to civil defence workers. There are casualties to bring from the ruins, the sort of work for which training is necessary. How soon the rescuers can go in after a nuclear attack, they are told by the district control office. Already alerted have been the casualty stations and hospitals. Here there's supposed to be a badly injured man under this book. That means that civil defence requires people to act the part of casualties. Vehicles overturned by blast could be another trap for the engine. And how that predicament is tackled, we see by watching the experts. They are public-spirited men. Like all of us, they hope that the worst will never come. But if it does, they aren't just waiting for it. They're getting themselves trained. The Home Office want a lot more to follow suit.